Hey guys, welcome back to the beauty room for another video. So today I want to get out and catch a amazing estate sale. She has like tons of Pyrex and Tupperware and all the things. It's like my like ultimate estate sale, okay, to go to and I'm excited and I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm running a little later than I want to to get there. It takes about 20 minutes to get there and I like to get there super early before they open so that I can get all the things because there's this amazing Pyrex set of bowls, mixing bowls in the box, brand new, and it's the um, it's the golden butterfly print, which is super rare. And I want them really, really badly um, for myself for Christmas as a Christmas gift to myself. So we'll see if I catch them, if I can get there and get it um, before they're taken. <laughs> um, but like I said, I'll probably get there a little bit, like two minutes after it opens. They open at nine and it's like 8.50 right now. So uh, let's go and get there and see if we can get all the things. So let's go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, like I walked up there to go to the sale, right? And there's this long line. It's freaking raining because <laughs> it's always raining when I go shopping, basically. And um, I walk up there and this guy's like, you better get in line. I'm number 75. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> number 75. So I get up there and I'm literally number 76 on this long freaking list. And they're basically like calling people to come up when their number is ready to come shop the sale. So this is like insane. Like I've been to a Saint sales before on the first day where it's like you get a number and whatever, but never have I been like number 70 something. So I feel like I wish I would have like literally jumped up out of bed and just ran to the sale. Um, so I could have been like number like 20 maybe or 30 or something. Um, but, I mean, we'll see. I mean, you never know what people are looking for or what people want um, when you go to these estate sales. Um, and it doesn't mean they're going to want stuff that you want, per se. Um, I know that what I want is a pretty big ticket item and it's something that's probably going to catch people's eye. But if they market the price up, like if it's priced up too high, people are not going to want it. Like, they'll leave it just because it's too expensive and go for the cheaper things. Um... But if there's somebody who like really loves Pyrex as much as me, mixing bowls and stuff as much as I do, and they're a number before 76, they might actually go and take the thing I want. So we'll see. I mean, I'll wait in the car. I'll wait for them to call me. I'll do the things. Um, and we'll, we'll see, you know, if I can get the stuff that I want today. If not, there's other estate sales and there's other like places that I want to go shopping today. So it won't be a major loss. So... Let's just see what happens, okay? So, I'm gonna let you know what happens <laughs> in a little bit, okay? My car for like an hour and a half, but it was worth it because I went in there and I got some really good stuff. I spent $60 and I got like a bag full of things. I got three Pyrex things, like Pyrex slash pointing wear items. And then I got a bunch of like this little cute little vintage thingies. And I got a Tupperware like um, pepper grinder. I think it's either a pepper grinder or like a flour sifter or something. And I'm excited about it. <laughs> and I want to go home and show you the haul because I got a lot of glass things. So I'm kind of afraid to show you in the car. So I don't want them to break. <laughs> um, but I might be able to if I set my camera up. We might be able to show you the things. What you think? What you think? What you think? Okay, so one of the first things I got <laughs> was this Tupperware. I think it's a I think it's a spice grinder or some type of grinder. It seems like a grinder here. This is only a dollar, and it has like all the parts to it, all the pieces to it. So it's either a sifter or a grinder, um, and it works. I think it's a I think it's a sifter or something or. Anyway, it was only a dollar and it has all the parts to it. So, excited about that piece. So, you know, I like collect Tupperware. That's one. Um, I also got this pink Pyrex pie plate. And I only paid $6 for that. I've been wanting one of these. I found one at a yard sale and I didn't get it and I kind of regret it. I should have got that one, but 
That's okay. I grabbed this pink one. It's in really great, pretty good shape. And it's the pink one for only six bucks. Super cute. I have a yellow one at home, so now I have the pink one too. I just couldn't leave it there by its lonesome. I had to get it, so grab that. And then I went and got the... I grabbed this little really cute Christmas tree like dish container. So like it's um it looks like this. <laughs> I can get it out. I wrapped it up real good. It's so, like I grabbed this it's like a Christmas tree, but it's like a little candy dish. I paid four bucks for that. Super cute. And you can have it out like every year for Christmas. I don't know what I would put in it. It's just cute. Like you could put like M&Ms in it. You could put, you know, all kinds of cute little candies. And I like stuff that you can have like every single year or like things that you can put out every year for Christmas or whatever. I just think that stuff is so cute and I love getting that kind of stuff from estate sales because then you can have it for a long time and it's not just something that you you know, like something that you don't really use, but it's like something you could actually use and have like many memories with it. And it's in really good condition too. So I grabbed that. And it's, because it's Christmas time, because it's Christmas time, I love finding Christmas stuff at estate sales. Okay, so then the next thing I got was this little fur thing. I don't know, it's like a little fur throw thing. It was only $5, guys. It's like, I think it's a real fur. Um, It's got like a nice little like, skin lining thing on it it was only five dollars but I think it's really cute because like you can throw it like on your table and like it can like be underneath decor and just be really really pretty um so I just I thought that was really beautiful um just like just a little fur skin thing you could throw it over a chair like this you know like as decor in your house you can throw it on a table and decorate with it I just thought it was really pretty and like I said because we like have a woods house like a house in the woods uh, we have a wooded oasis. I thought it was really pretty. It's really pretty to decorate with furs and stuff in your house. So, love that. The next thing I got was this, which I've been looking for one of these for a hot minute. This is the Corningware bread pan. Yes, it's a bread pan. And I've been looking for one forever. Now, they had I paid $15 for this one. Um, but I've been looking for it forever, and I finally got it. So, excited about that because I got the Corningware bread, bread pan that I've been looking for for a long, long time, and I'm excited about that. So isn't she pretty? So she's gonna go in my Corningware collection. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out, um, where I show you all of my Corningware collection that I have, and it's it's beautiful, okay? And then, this is one of the pieces that I went for to get. Now, there was a, um, the, the Butterfly Gold set in the box, and a lady came at 3 a.m waited outside <laughs> this estate sale house at, from like 3 in the morning until 9 p.m. just to get this this Corningware Corning bowl set. It was It's a course like Corningware bowl set set up for and it's butterfly gold print which is actually pretty rare. Now the lady says she paid $85 which I my limit was $60 for that thing so I'm glad that she got it and she paid $85 because even if I would have seen that thing in there, I wouldn't have bought it. So that's absolutely fine. But I did want um, to, I also came for this thing and it was still there. So this is the Friendship um, Bird print. Beautiful. Um, it's in that like nice little pretty red pattern. Super cute. I love these. I have two of these at home. These are also kind of a rarer print also. Um, and they had $25 on this. So I paid 25 bucks for this. So... But it's really pretty. It's actually in really good condition. There's no chips. There's no nothing on it. Hopefully I don't add some chips to it because <laughs> I'm <laughs> going to be clumsy sometimes. But I thought this was really pretty. Super pretty. I was glad I got it. I was glad it was still there. That and that pink pie plate were still there. So I was happy about that. So I grabbed both of those. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to put them back nicely so they don't break. Because like I said, if I shatter these, I'm going to literally cry like a baby. I like a little baby. <laughs> um, okay, the other thing I got was like this shirt. I got this shirt for $2. It's like a Star Wars shirt. It says Expressions of Vader. It's like happy, angry, sad, sleepy, confused, whatever. Okay, and I just thought it was a cool shirt. I'll probably resell this on eBay. Um, 
it's in really good condition too it's a really cool shirt like if you love star wars i thought it would be like a cool shirt it's a size large so check the ebay because it will be up on there in the link description box down below all right the other thing i got was like this one dollar little tupperware dish i don't even know what you can use it for you could put like cheese on it or something i don't know it doesn't have a lid but it was only a dollar so i grabbed that um she said this was like an egg grabber, but it's like a really fancy one. And I really love these vintage like sterling silver things. And I have a set of them. So like I went ahead and grabbed this. So she said it's for to grab, I guess, eggs, like um, boiled hard boiled eggs, like out of a your, you know, out of your pot or whatever when you boil them without burning yourself. So I thought that was really cool. It was only a dollar, so I grabbed that. Um, I also have a bunch of other little tiny things. I found like a, a pie, um, uh, it's for, it's like to grab your pie out, like a piece of pie, like you cut the pie and then like this goes in and like picks your pie up so that it comes out perfectly every time so it's not like right coming out all jank. This is like to like go in there and like get your perfect slice so I thought that was really cute and useful and I bake a lot so and I made a lot of pies for Thanksgiving, <laughs> let me tell you. <coughs> Excuse me. And that would have been helpful. Um, this one is like a tea strainer, I think. Uh, I thought it was super cute. You can put like tea in it and like dump it in your your mug and like hook it on the side and like pull it out whenever your tea is ready. Super cute. Um, I like these vintage little pot holder things. I have a couple of them at home and then I found this one so it's like super nice so that will go like in my collection. So love that. I found three little ugh, Yankee candles. Um, this one says Harvest, and then th this one said White Christmas, and then this one says Candy Corn. So I had one for basically each of the recent holidays. So one for Halloween, one for Christmas, and one for Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, and these were like super cheap. I think she made me pay like a dollar for all three of these or something like that. Great deal. Then I found this coin purse, like my coin purse is kind of like falling apart if you can't tell, like I have a vintage one and it's kind of like falling apart. Um, it was from my previous owner from the house that we bought, um, I, found, I found it in the house when we bought it and I've used it and it's starting to get rugged so I went ahead and grabbed a new one. This one's really pretty, this was two bucks um, and it has like little deers on it, I thought it was really pretty and it's kind of almost like an Asian print and it's got blue and red and all the colors that I love and it's in pretty good condition so I'll probably just transfer all my coins into this because this is going to be my new change purse so I might as well just go ahead and do that but I keep this because like when I go to Aldi's I always need a quarter and I always need you know a quarter so I keep quarters and like change and stuff in here so I'll take this off and now it's going to be used as my new coin purse and it's super pretty and it matches my uh my couture bag so I'll probably just Stick it in there. All right, so next thing I found like one of these little really cute Tupperware like grater things. Like I used to see these, like my grand, my mom, grandma I think used to have one of these like on her refrigerator and stuff when I was a kid. So it kind of was nostalgic. So I grabbed that. I thought it was super cute. Then they had this other magnet where you can like hang your like um, pot holders and stuff like that on it. And I have a couple pot holder things that I wanted to put on it. Um, I thought it was really cute. It's got little strawberries on it. I thought it was adorable and it was also very useful because um, you can either hook it or you can magnetize it onto your refrigerator. So I thought that was cute. So I kind of gra grabbed that. And then I grabbed this little Christmas teddy bear. He was only a dollar. Um, and he'll go on my Christmas tree. He's a cute little ornament guy. He's a dollar and he's really cute. So. That's um, everything that I got in this sale. And like I said, literally I waited in line for, well I sat in my car for like an hour and a half. Okay, some people waited for like two hours to go in the sale. And like I said, it was pretty cool and raining and people stayed outside and waited outside for like hours, like an hour. And that lady came at 3 a.m. to get her stuff. So I got everything. I couldn't film in there because there were too many people and like it was pretty crowded and tight in that house so I couldn't really film anything so I couldn't show you anything but that's my haul that's all the stuff that I got um 
So I'm kind of glad that I waited and got all the good things because like this bread pan thing I've been wanting for quite a bit and I'm excited that I got it. And that friendship bird print I've been looking for for quite a bit too. So wasn't a major loss. Went in there, got all the things. So yeah, so that concludes my haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this estate sale kind of Christmas <laughs> shot with me um, and seeing my little haul. Um, yeah, like I said, sorry I couldn't take you guys in there. It would have been better if I could, but at least you got to see all the stuff that I got. But this place was packed. It had like a bunch of Tupperware, lots of Pyrex, like all the vintage goodies, vintage clothes, vintage everything. Anything that you could think of vintage, it probably had. It was a major sale. It was worth the wait, and a lot of people came, and they waited, and they got all the things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and mainly subscribe down below. And leave me a comment if you want, okay? And um, yeah, and I'll see you in the future. Bye!